death. Jesus and his disciples went to the Garden of Gethsemane at night. Jesus asked his disciples to pray with him. Jesus talked to his Father God in prayer, asking him for strength to do his will. As they were praying, some soldiers came, arrested Jesus and tied him up. They took him away and all of Jesus' disciples ran away. The soldiers led Jesus to the Jewish elders and the chief priests. They wanted to put Jesus to death, so they brought him to see Pilate. He was the ruler. Pilate asked Jesus, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Yes, it is as you say. During the Passover celebration, it was the practice that the people could let one prisoner free. Pilate asked the people, Who do you want me to set free? Barabbas or Jesus? The people chose Barabbas. Then, Pilate asked them, What should I do with Jesus? All the people say, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate did not understand what Jesus had done wrong. But the people kept shouting even louder, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate let Barabbas go and had Jesus whipped. They made fun of Jesus by putting a purple robe on his back and a crown made of thorns on his head. Then Jesus had to carry his cross up to a place called Golgotha. There, the soldiers nailed Jesus' hands and feet to the cross. A sign was made and placed above Jesus' head that said, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two robbers were crucified at the same time as Jesus and were placed on both sides of him. While Jesus was on the cross, he prayed to his Father in heaven saying, Father, forgive them, they do not know what they are doing. For three hours, the land was covered with darkness. Finally, Jesus called out in a loud voice, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? After Jesus called out one more time, he bowed his head and died. On the cross, Jesus took all of the bad things that all of us have done and paid the penalty for them. He died so that we might have a way to live in heaven with him someday.